Hello people, Juggler here, and as you can see I'm playing against some experienced survivors and they've got some decent builds and decent perks and it's a bit of a battle and I'm playing as Condemned Sadako and if you're not sure what that is it basically means I slug people and wait until their power stacks up to 7 so I can one shot them out of the game like a similar to a Mori. So without further ado, enjoy the video. And we got a nice early hit there. Let's see what they can do. So I'm running Knockout, Deerstalker, Deadlock, and Sloppy Butcher, which is basically a condemn build. Deadlock blocks the gens every time a gen is completed. The most furthest along generator is blocked for 30 seconds. And that's a strange place for you to hide. Let's get her on a hook. Now we go for the next one. So we're just going to jump around. I'm using two add-ons here. One which makes it so the TVs turn back on after I hit a survivor. The last four ones, if I'm right. And another one which gives them condemned from healing. There's no one around here, so that's a bit annoying. And she's unhooked. Perfect. Those TVs now turn back on. Where is Dwight going to take me? That generator is blocked as well from deadlock. It's nearly complete by the sounds of it. She's thrown down the pallet, that's perfect. I have no idea where she's gone. Okay, Dwight's body blocking. We're going to try and cut them off and give them some stacks, which we just have done. So hopefully they're on around three stacks now. Hello there. Get a hit on her. Let's turn the TVs back on. I would just rinse and repeat. It's like a whack-a-mole playstyle. If you're not sure how Condemned works, basically every time I hit someone and they heal, they'll gain a stack of Condemned because of one of the add-ons. If I teleport from a TV and they're within 16 meters, they'll also gain a stack of Condemned. And if they reach 7 stacks, they can be killed by my hand, similar to a Mori. She is not thrown down this pallet, which surprises me. But that one. Okay. She knows what she's doing. As a sign of a good survivor, they leave the god loops alone. He's got some serious distance on me. Another generator done, but that's okay. We're playing the long game. Scratch marks. We're going to ignore them and go for the other generators. Over there. That's a nice dead hard. We've got everyone injured. That's perfect. Sloppy Butcher makes it so that they take 25% longer to heal. Damn. There's a tea bag. I just saw that. <laughs> Why it might be a pallet thrower. We do have to keep an eye on the generators though because they are going pretty quick. That's another one gone. He's just going to drop this, isn't he? Or not? Okay. Just teleport around a bit and see what we can... Oh, that's perfect. They've all got a stack of Condemned. So the idea is to get them on the floor and make them heal each other. And if we get seven stacks, we kill them. Three people injured. We need to break some pallets because they're just going to be able to loot me for days. Going to break them all. Right, we need to start doing some teleporting as well. Check on the gens. And what a surprise, there's some people here. Let's get this hit. That's okay, that's a god pallet, we want to get rid of that. Give this gen a kick. We could really do with someone getting condemned soon. Hello there, Dwight. You got a pallet here? You do. Okay. Can't be too many pallets left. <laughs> That's so many tea bags, holy shit. He's just dropping all the pallets down. We'll get him. I'm sure of it. 
but we can't just waste our time with one person because he's just thrown every single pallet down. I'll end up losing. Teleport straight back. Is anyone working? Anyone? There's someone. At least turn back on. Okay, all those TVs are now turned back on. Nobody around here. Okay. Someone's got to be nearly condemned, surely. Someone is condemned. Been there near that TV, though. Oh, they've got the tape. I need to cut them off. I'm not going to teleport to the TV. I'm just going to hopefully get the hit on. I should make that. The body blocking, never mind. That's one down. We'll leave her on the ground. They'll heal her up and get condemned as well. Someone else is condemned, but we're ignoring them. Unless we can cut them off. Don't think we can. Nah, they've, they've got rid of it. That's okay. Very nice dead out again. I fell for that twice now. It's quite frustrating. He's throwing that pallet. Okay, the generator's not been worked on. That's perfect. I got quite lucky with this map as well. Anyone around here? Anyone at all? Drop down there. No. I'm not sure where anyone is now. This is a bit confusing. Oh, perfect. Any dead harders? Any? No? Okay, no one, no dead hard. Perfect. And he's injured as well. So we'll leave her on the ground, kick this gen. We're going to use her as bait as well. A couple of people are going to be nearly condemned now. And there's one. Perfect. We go for her. She's not got a tape either. Hello there. Those TVs are back on. I think we get her. She's not got a tape. Okay. And that is the first person out of the game. Perfect. That is creepy. Nice white, nice tea bags. Very good. I feel like he's trying to distract us, but we don't let him. Got to be some more can damage. Hello there. So we're going to teleport away because we know where she's heading. No one's on this one. And then we teleport back to her and get a hit on her. Perfect. Because so we'll get all the TVs back on now. Boom. That is how you play Sadako. Try and get her condemned. Ooh, she must be near. She's got a pallet around there. I'm gonna try and fake this. Okay, she's not an idiot. You're gonna teleport to where we think she's going. Ooh, someone else is condemned. It's Dwight. Has he acquired a tape? He has not, but he's got a... I need to break that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try and... Okay, he's, he's left the loop. It's perfect. Where art thou? Break this pallet. I really need to break that pallet. One more gen left. Wasting so much time. Okay, the map's pretty clear now. Another person's condemned. Do I just go for her instead? 
Let him throw this. Okay, we need to teleport to her. Oh, she's there. We leave Dwight. Let's go for her. We'll just cut her off. She doesn't know where I am. Hello there. Nice dead hard attempt again. It'll leave her on the ground. She must have got rid of the condemned. They're playing really well. She's just gonna... Yeah. <laughs> Don't blame her. See, I would have looped. I would have uh, bothered that. That's strange. Let's just get this pal out of the way, I guess. Just M1. She makes it. It's fine. Big hold W gamer. Okay. Give us a little cheeky kick. Hopefully someone else is condemned now. Okay, that's perfect. They healed just above me, so we go straight for them. And I hear you. Hello there. I keep thinking they're going to dead hard, but they didn't. Strange. Okay, they've healed and got condemned. Or he's got a tape. Either way, we're getting rid of the teabagger, and that's beautiful. The teabagging, your punishment is death. Goodbye, Dwight. It's been a pleasure. Okie dokie, there's two left. Very nice. Hopefully they're healing up over there. I'm going to teleport away. Okay, they're there anyway. Never mind. I'm going to leave this TV and teleport back to it. Like so. She's got to be nearly condemned. Okay, she is. Perfect. Both me. All we have to do is get her down and she's out. She's not even got a TV. Perfect. Ooh, nice dead hard again. And that's it. That's GG. We'll try and get the other one condemned. If they get the hatch, they get the hatch. I don't mind. Okay. Where are you? Okay, they got the hatch. That's fine. That was a good game. It's taken me a while to get this condemned build to work, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's some seriously experienced survivors. GG.